Yeah, I like. I I enjoy that kind of kind of thing. Yeah, dude. But look, all this music that you've played, I would ride on a motorcycle and listen to this. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Hey. I eventually want a motorcycle, bro. Like, that's that's dude, one of my goals. I've thought about getting a bike, but I probably will never get one. I was just my best friend died on a bike. Oh and then, man. And then, dude, I just I just don't I wouldn't trust myself on one. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like. Cause I get brave, you know. Once I get comfortable with something, dude, I get yeah, I get a little too brave. I I'll be fucking <laughs> rounding it, dude. <laughs> yeah, well, I probably do the same thing. Try not to, even but, though I said I wouldn't. But who knows? If I was to get one, dude, I'd probably get like one of those uh, spiders or whatever. Yeah, dude. The main thing on a motorcycle, though, it's not uh, you. You got to worry about it's everybody else. You know, watching out for all the people who ain't paying attention for people on motorcycles, dude. I mean, people pull out in front of motorcycles all the time, dude, because they just don't see them. Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. I've seen, like, I like the ones that flicker. Yeah. The headlights, the headlights flicker. It catches your attention. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh... Especially nowadays, people just drive on their phone. Oh, yeah, dude. Dude, I see so, so many people every day on their phone driving down the road, dude. It's wild, huh? It's crazy. I try not to, like, text and drive or anything, dude. Sometimes a lot of things happen and to humble us, like, we just don't, we just take it, like, for granted, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, connecting with that, bro, I was listening to this Rick Ross song the other day. It's called uh, Tears of Joy. And it kind of, it was, like, humbling at the moment because the way he said it was, like, to show off, right? But to me, I was, like, really, like, it made me think of... Um, in Mexico, bro, like how small houses are and yeah. like the churches over there. But he said, uh, crib bigger than the church, Lord knows I'm blessed. I was like, well, what kind of church? Like a Mexican church or like a American church? You know, right. like how how big would it be built? Well, I'm, I mean, there's huge we churches. We talking about Geyer Springs there's, Baptist or right. we talking about, you there's, know. Well, there's huge churches in Mexico too. I'm not right. going to say that, you know, the, the, the country line matters, but... Yeah, bro, I thought about it. I was like, bro, where I'm from over there, like, what I know of over there, like, yeah. that church was small. Like, it was literally probably, like, a decent-sized house, you know? Dude, uh, the church I pretty much went to all the time when growing up, the church my grandpa was a preacher at, dude. It was it was actually a, 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 in a in a trailer, dude, like a trailer house. That was our church. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. So, I mean... There goes to show a church can be anywhere where two or more people unite for for him, you know. Exactly. It was a uh, got a lot of a lot of good memories there at church, but um, but yeah, there's a lot of lot of Ar- Arkansas artists out there that you know maybe you've heard of them, maybe you hadn't. I mean, there's a lot to have you know, mainstream success, like, uh, Justin Moore, for example, you know, he's he had a lot of mainstream success, you know, he's, he's at the big times, and, uh, you know, he makes pretty good music, mm-hmm. um, and then there's, there's people you've never heard of, um, oh my word, I can't remember her name, I was planning on playing one of her songs and everything, I can't remember, I just went blank, but anyways, I mean, um, look online for local shows I mean there's not a lot going on right now because of the pandemic and stuff but yeah. you know once everything gets back to normal you know just get you know Google you know live music in your area and you know go see some shows discover some some local artists and you know yep. there's a lot of really good encourage really good artists out. out there encourage people to get out there get engaged kind of with the community that's what we need people just like to do get off the phone just get it get in there get in there for real like connect with yourself and the people around you exactly because those memories you built are going to be way more touching than those those posts you just scroll through you know exactly yeah. exactly dude I um, remember being like in a lot of quinceaneras bro those vibes bro a lot of them bro like it was cool it was fun Hell yeah. But, um, but yeah, a lot of good local artists out there. Um, but, I guess I said I was going to talk a little bit about 
a little bit Texas red dirt country. Mm-hmm, yeah. And um, it's, um, a lot of it is, is stuff I've already played, like the Casey Donahue stuff. I played, played some of it for you. Oh, there's one more before we get too far off. And this is like, this bridges the gap between the local artists and the and their Texas red dirt scene. Cool. Is, um, I can't remember if they're from Arkansas or if so, some of them are from Arkansas, but the band Turnpike Troubadours is, um, they have Arkansas ties anyway. And um, they're, they have some awesome music. Um, I think I'm going to play two songs mm-hmm. by them. We can do that. Um, the first one will be um, Shreveport. 